so it is August 8th or 9th, I think it is. We are going to be chit-chatting and detangling my hair because um, I'm not gonna be vlogging a lot this week. It's my husband and I, birthday week. For some reason, his mama decided to have him the day after me. So we have to share our birthdays together. <laughs> Just like a damn Leo. I share our birthdays together, but low-key, I don't think he's a real Leo. He, he, he don't act like one. Um, going to be detangling my hair. My hair is old. When I tell you my hair is old, it is two, 16 days since I've washed my hair. 16 days, 16 days. My scalp, it has some buildup. Now, I'm a type of person, thankfully, my scalp doesn't get itchy as it gets dirty. So today is wash day and today um, I'm going to be reviewing the Urban Hydration line. Now those of you who've been following me for a while know that I split up my wash day for several reasons, um, especially since I typically review a product in the midst of my wash day. So normally I would detangle the day before my wash day, but I got kind of lazy yesterday, didn't do it. Since I am off today, I figured I could detangle co-wash and deep conditioning my hair today. Then I will style my hair tomorrow. Cause I'm doing Bantu knots y'all. <laughs> mm, yeah, so it's been a while since I've done Bantu knots. Not my favorite style because it's so unpredictable, but I, I watched a few videos, including some of my old videos, and I think I'll be good. Get to the point. What I'm gonna be using to detangle my hair. This is gonna be a pre poo slash detangling video and we're gonna be chatting. So I have VO5 um, strawberries and cream. However, it looks a little white because I squirted in some of the Suave's coconut oil. And we have Camille Rose herbal tea, still in softened um, oil. Now I added some castor oil to this. Now what I'm gonna do is um, separate my hair into sections. I'm gonna be lightly misting my hair and first finger detangle without anything, you know, to try to get everything, you know, the knots and tangles out. And then I will be using my um, conditioner and the oil. Now, as far as tools go, I have several things over here. I have my Nifty Difty comb. I don't even know what this is. I've had this for a long time. I have the wooden comb, and then I have a pick. I also have the Felicia Leather Wedge detangling brush back here, but in all honesty, I like to use that brush when I'm in the shower. Yeah, I feel like that works best for me when it's when my hair is saturated. It is completely wet. It's not gonna be saturated now. Um, so let me go ahead and section off my hair. All right, you guys, I am back. My hair is sectioned off. Now I do have some apple cider vinegar in here, about a tablespoon to one and a half cups of warm water. So I'm gonna go ahead and lightly mist my hair. Um, yeah, y'all, so school has started for us, and thank you guys for all your well wishes from JB. Look, y'all, I'm, I'm gonna say something that, um, you know, a lot of parents or a lot of people are gonna be like, what? Um, Because there was a couple of comments, you know, JB's so smart. JB is not exceptionally smart. <laughs> Let me explain. This is why I say this. Um, he's not exceptionally smart. Um, He's average. He may be a little bit above average in certain areas, but overall, he's about, you know, he's about average. And this is why I say that. It's because he appears smarter than other kids because I have introduced JV to topics or certain subjects that you typically want with a kindergarten. But I believe that as parents, we shouldn't box our children, you know, just because he's five years old, doesn't mean he shouldn't know how to read at five. You know, JB can read a sight book. Um, that doesn't make him extremely smart. It's because I introduced him to that. I saw a video on Facebook of a baby, <laughs> um, it was a toddler, the, the child looked to be almost two, and the child was doing math. Now that is smart because development wise, they're not supposed to be doing math at only two years old. But things like languages, um, it would be fairly easy for a two, three, five year old to learn another language. That wouldn't make them extremely smart it's because you've introduced them to those, um, those topics or subjects I should say. But yeah, now what JB is really, really good at 
um, is problem solving. Really, really good at problem solving. And he's, he's very unique, um, very creative in that we buy him Legos. He could literally sit with his Legos hours building stuff. Yeah, so that's something that he's really, really good at. Um, it was so funny, a couple of years ago, I was at my dentist's office and my dentist, we talk, you know, I talk to a lot of my people I go see and she said, you know, a lot of my friends think their kids are smart, but they're not. I'm like, well, damn. Um, my girlfriend ended up texting me, her birthday's at the end of the month, Miss Wanda. And she's like, you know, what do you want to do for your birthday? I'm like, well, we're going out to eat. You want to join us? And she's like, yeah, cool. I'll, I'll come with y'all. So my girlfriend Wanda is going to come down, um, come down. She's going to join us for dinner Saturday night. And yeah, then I'm making our cake Saturday morning. I could probably make it Friday. I'm off too, by, by the way. I could probably make it Friday, but I don't want to. Um, I told my husband, I'm like, I want to go. I'm, yeah, I'm a nerd. And I'm like, I, I want to go to the art museum. And he's like, didn't we go there before? Yes, but there's something called galleries and exhibits and it switches out literally multiple times a year. We haven't been there in years. You know, it's in downtown Phoenix. But still, I'm like, I want to go to the to the art gallery. So, I don't know. This is cute. I have been watching some YouTube videos, not a lot. Um, uh, Mom of Chrissy. What is that her name? Chrissy Mom, the young lady that has... I think she has like seven or eight kids. Uh, she posted a video either yesterday or the day before yesterday, and her birthday was was this past week too. Um, and the title of the video was "I Can't Believe He Left Us," and I don't know what. It's a fairly long video, so I don't know if she got to that. But the part I watch, which I kind of had to chuckle, because she's she turned 28, I believe, and so she was saying how. How, you know, now that she's 28, she looks back on her life and she thought she really knew things when she was in her early 20s. And, you know, she's just now figuring things out. And I'm thinking, oh, sweetheart, you have no idea. <laughs> I know that I don't have it figured out. So um, I think that the mistakes that you make in your 20s, you try to correct it in your 30s. Um... But then you start to, this is how I feel like, in your 30s, you're paying, late 30s, I should say, you're paying for some of the things you did in your 20s, throughout your entire 20s. Then in your early 30s, you think that you are um, going on the right path, and this is not for everybody. You think you're going on the right path, you've learned some things, but then you backslide a little bit in certain areas. And then finally, in your late 30s, you think you kind of got it, and then you're, you're paying for all the BS, whether it be something like credit card debt, like me. <laughs> Ran up your credit cards in your 20s, where you learn from it, you're paying for you actually getting it together in your late 30s. Moving into your 40s, you think you got it, you're, you're moving into adulthood almost in your 40s, girl. Oh, just wait, just wait, girl. 28 yeah no y'all i'm a type of person too that i surround myself with people who are i don't want to say um winners or more advanced i surround myself with successful minded people all of my friends are college educated if they're not college educated, they're self-made, they're entrepreneurs. Nearly all of my friends have an entrepreneur type of mindset. Um, they're go-getters, because I need to be around people like that. Who else was I watching? Yeah, I made a little list here of who I was watching. Uh, yeah, I was watching Mom of Chrissy, and I was like, yeah, girl, you, you got some time to learn. You know, I keep, not only do I keep friends around that are successful, I keep older, friend, older friends around. And I mean, like, old enough to be, to be my mama. Um, I'm technically a millennial right on the cusp, but I don't act like one. And so I ask my friends for advice, not, not when I'm going through stuff, but like, I'm not afraid to ask people, you know, what's the secret to their marriage? One of my coworkers told me, she said that it's to say that you're sorry, to say that you're sorry and move on. I'm like, that's the worst advice I've ever heard. <laughs> 
feel like Sandy had a video up, but then for some reason, a recommended video of one of her old videos came up and um, I haven't I have been watching a lot of their videos because they're doing a lot of vlogging with the kids and those those twins are adorable but I just I just don't watch their videos as much as I used to when they were babies um, but one of her recommended videos came up was her first twist out attempt I had no idea she had natural hair she wears a lot of wigs a lot of lace fronts wigs um, her hair is extremely it's not thin it's fine um, her strands are fine, but she has thickness. Does that make sense? Is that possible, y'all? Who claims, I'm not one of those YouTubers who claim to know all about that, but her hair that didn't look, it didn't look thin, but it looked fine. I used to wear wigs, especially the first few years that I was natural, but I had to give my friend a hard reality check. Uh, Wanda, actually, she was like, well, how can I get my hair? My hair is so thin. Her hair was thin and her strands were, were fine, my friend. And she said, well, what can I do? Because I said, oh, it's your installations. It's your weave. You're, I've, I've seen my friend's real hair once, once in the 10 years I've known her. In my opinion, y'all, I really don't think that if you're doing that 24 seven, and that, I'm talking about people who wear those all the time. I'm not talking about celebrities who every now and then, like Portia, you see their real hair and it's beautiful. I'm pretty sure Portia and them take that stuff out of their hair one or two months. I've never seen that. I mean, I know plenty of women who um, have long natural hair who wear weaves and wigs, but that thickness and your edges will suffer. That's just, what it is hell mine's was suffering when i was wearing um weave my hair thinned out and all the edges oh my god that dang on lipstick alley why 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 do i do this to myself i was actually on there looking up a youtuber oh i know who it is and i'm a name drop because i don't care so i have subscribed to a lot of different youtubers you guys and i do a lot of lurking every now and then i'll comment and i'll see y'all commenting too so i'm subscribed to um dre who does reaction videos young guy very very sweet guy and i love the fact that he reacts to a lot of different videos a variety of, of videos mostly dancing um he does like to react to women trying on clothes but i like that he also um gives the plus size women some love so he does react to some of those videos so there's some beef not necessarily beef but there were his one of his last videos was regarding tiffany seaberry she does a try on hauls and i'm not subscribed to her um, for the simple fact that I think that homegirl, um, I want to call her thirsty, but some of her videos, not all, all or a little attention seeking, a little attention seeking, but I'm going to chalk that up to age. I think she's only 24. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a little much. She has a great body that is clearly a Brazilian butt lift, but she says it's from, um, she was taking a certain type of pills to make her body, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you do, girl, it's your body, you can do whatever you want. But um, I was going on Lipstick Alley to see the T on, cause I didn't want to look at the videos. I just want to see Cliff Notes. Well, I really couldn't find much on them. So somehow I got on Denzel Washington. <laughs> Someone started a thread. Is there any T on Denzel Washington? Why? I have this image in my mind of Denzel with his fine stuff. I'll take Denzel at training day. Denzel 10 years ago. Now Denzel looks like he's preparing for some role. Yeah, no. Um, he's gaining a little weight, which is bound to happen. He's 50, what, 57? Still looks good, girl. Still looks good. Yeah. Why? 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 It ruined my entire image of him as a person you have to keep in mind that this is just a man you know what we see on tv that's not really who they are so sure enough of course there's a teeth thread on denzel washington because i always thought you know denzel's so good you never hear about him and his wife and the news and that's because uh yeah it has been out apparently denzel washington and sanaya lathan had an affair now i absolutely love that movie out of time i actually have it on um 
on DVD. I love that movie. And they apparently started having an affair after that movie. He was fine in that movie, right? And they, one of the rumors is that they have a child together. And I'm like, what? Does Paulette know about this? <laughs> Apparently Paulette knows about it. Apparently she's friends with Oprah and Gail King and uh, who is it? Uh, Tupac Shakur's, uh, Shakur's mama and they were gonna go run up on Sanaya. Y'all, I'm like, this, this, how do y'all come up with this shit? How do you know this? So, but a couple of people said that, you know, regardless of Sanaya, that Denzel is known to be basically a man whore. I'm like, no, sis, no, really? Interesting, but yeah, y'all. Now I don't. Uh, after looking at that Denzel Washington stuff this past week, and I said I'm never gonna get on this stuff unless I really need some information. I'm not going to. Um, I'm just sometimes I think like why do those women? Like a lot of those women are older women, y'all. I'm talking about 40 plus years old, and some of the stuff that they be looking up and finding out it makes me kind of sad because um, I know there's complete threads. I hope I never get big on YouTube. My goal is 20,000 subscribers, which I'm only 4,000 away. I don't want to have 100,000 subscribers. I don't because I'm actually, I'm already on Lipstick Alley in the hair, some of the hair threads. That's it um, because they have created threads designated to YouTubers. My hair has, I'm not blaming y'all, but even um, the stylist I go to every now and then. She made a comment that my hair probably isn't, I would not want to say thriving, but it's not at its best performance because I'm not consistent with my hair products, my regimen, because I review so many products. I, I know for a fact that besides using so many different products, I should be waste not by now. I should. I should be waste but that's not even, you know, not even funny, but yeah, I should definitely be waist limp by now. I am only um, about two inches past bra length. About three or four inches from waist length. Now, if I stop cold turkey doing all this stuff, I could get to waist length in two years, probably less than that, but yeah, I wanna see a review. <laughs> Look, I'm low key blaming y'all. <laughs> So anyway, y'all. So anyway, y'all. That is it. I just wanted to come on because, like I said, I won't be vlogging that much this week. I um, just wanted to come on. I know this was very random, and I know I'm not the only YouTuber who has done this. There's another YouTuber who actually does her hair and chit chats a lot. Um, so let me know if y'all enjoyed this. It was random as hell, girl. Random as hell. But I feel like I'm talking to my friend. You know, you talking to your good friend on the phone. That's how I want this to be. But let me know if you like this, and I may um, do this again later on in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you as always to all our new subscribers take care bye